Uh, I hate technical snafus. It drives me crazy, especially when I'm trying to use these damn things on here. Nice level of earbuds. Ever tried them before? Pain in the asses. It's 12.43 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. It is the 26th of April, 2023. The Weaver John C. Rosie the California. You're a zombie. Emotionally screwed up and sleep deprived as usual. Uh, this goes for the diary of the Great Redeem John Weaver, which would be me. Okay. I think I said it before in too many videos and probably not enough of it. Sometimes when I'm seeing on social media that uh, people actually have um, an online forum that they're going to be doing, free of charge to people, and they give me the registrations for it. Somehow in there, they also say, well, if you offer me some money here, I can give you some private time with me. I'm like, you talk about how clients suckered. I don't mind listening to every once in a great while, I'll say a great while, of people trying to tell me that, but I'm offering hope through this situation of yours, I'm thinking. Uh-huh. What's the scam, Sam? You're going to be offering hope at this point over here, but you're going to be charging me money for a private con you know, private consort with you. Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. No, 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 no. No, I'm not dealing with that one. I mean, I'll check the online forum out. I'll see what happens. It's probably coming up on the 4th anyway. And this is concerning about grieving. I mean, I saw this one on uh, YouTube. Uh, not on YouTube, but on Facebook. And I understand the need to get past the pain because who else likes dealing with this thing unless you're a sadomasochist? Unless I personally have turned into a sadomasochist without even realizing the damn shit in the first place. Or maybe I've been that way and didn't even realize it. Growing up, you know, past the, past the age of four years old with the heart surgery and dying three times and coming back to life three times. I mean, it changes a person. But what also changes me a bit is dealing with life and death situations, uh, dealing with spiritual connections, uh, once in a great while in my youth. and don't even have that anymore for the adulthood. That sucks. I mean, it would have been nice if I actually had the Almighty trying to give me a heads up every once in a while in my adulthood, but he didn't. So I just wanted to see how this experiment ran out. Fine. Or I just wanted to see how the hell I was doing these days. But it probably had a clearer picture on that. And then when my family goes, it's like I keep trying to search an explanation and thinking, wait a second, I ain't going to get an explanation from the guy because he's not going to explain it to me. The only thing I would understand is the grieving I would have to go through is the damn process all we do. And if I had gone through the grieving process as I was a younger kid or as an adult, I wouldn't been going through a hell of a lot of training seminars or something like that. Life training seminars. It's not like I would enroll in class, pay them money to brainwash me. No, I would go to occupational schools to learn a few trades to try to work with. Which gave me a little bit more money than usually going for the normal standard slug jobs of a temp. I'll say that again if I had to. But I was a slug. I was going for slug fest jobs. Because I didn't think I was worthy enough to do anything. I wasn't smart enough to do anything. According to what my mother said, my, I was smart. I didn't feel it. I didn't think it. I didn't even act it. At least I didn't remember anyway. My brother would probably say to me, Are you kidding me? Stop bullshitting me. You were the smartest one around. I was like, yeah, right, sure. But I was so damn smart. How come I didn't get through damn school? How come I didn't apply myself to education? How come I didn't have an attitude towards the damn thing? But then I kept wondering, was it education or was it attitude, or was it a willingness or something that could have helped me throughout my uh, starting of the road to academia? And why didn't I do this a long time ago? Go through college, get it, get degrees, and probably be stuck in debt for the rest of my life. 
I know I had to deal with life on live streams. I had to bust my ass left and right, and maybe in that course, maybe it was just meant to be. If it was, then why am I complaining about it? But I seem like I am complaining about it. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to live and deal and cope with life on life's terms. Which isn't easy these days. Never is. Okay, so that being said. Why the hell would I want to go to a damn... A uh, seminar that's going to be bilking me money when it's supposed to be free at this point. <sighs> Trying to give me some hope right after grieving. When I've already been living through a lifetime of the damn thing, losing too many loved ones in many forms and formats. And I'm supposed to be back to a cheerful, smiling self. I even got pissed off at one particular poster on a me uh, on social media regarding a meme. That's by how you feel, still smile. I'm like, bite me. <laughs> oh no, here's the angry uh, emoticon for you. I don't think so, Scooter Boy. Well, then you're choosing to be miserable, sticking in your own shit. Brought me to another earlier point that I tried to bring up a long time ago in my earlier videos is that you got the stubborn mule or stubborn donkey, whatever you got here. He's surrounded because he's stuck in this mud puddle here. It only comes up to his hooves maybe about that much. Easy enough to get out. And surrounding the guy is flat, surface, secure, safe, easy on. But the damn thing is stuck. Because that's all he can see is that. It's not seeing the horizon. Doesn't see the beyond at that. He's only seeing this. And when you're grieving and mourning, it's all you know. You know that there's hope and... and there's a life after the grieving process. But the problem is, you're still stuck there whining your ass off left and right. And people will say you're whining your ass off left and right. Only because you are an ass. You're stuck. You can see around you that everyone else is in the clear. They dealt with it. You keep asking yourself, why haven't you? Those are the issues you still have to keep in, um, trying to find out inside yourself. Do everybody else know how they can deal with it? Have they lied about it? Have they lied to themselves about it? Or are they truthful about it? And if they were truthful about it, I'd like to find out what the hell they were talking about. But if they weren't, then what? <laughs> nobody likes talking about grieving. Nobody talks about life about mourning. And nobody wants to talk about how to get out of that damn uh, mud patch. I don't think they ever see it that way. I have. Only in my imagination's on this situation over here. When a donkey or a mule is so damn stubborn, they'll just stay there till they're good and ready to get out. And then they'll move. Or well, they'll still move and don't even get stuck in what they call stuck and stupid. I've heard this in, in so many meeting halls being stuck and stupid. You're stuck and stupid. Or worse, keep it simple, stupid pissed me off. All I know is in the grieving process I'm not making leaps and bounds like I had been concerning about my grieving and just trying to plow through things in life and not honestly dealing with it. Not feeling it. Didn't want to feel it. I wanted to get through it. Because that's the only one I can do is get through it emotionally. Physically, I work. If I was actually able to, I would, I would work and bury everything else. And then busy with this, busy with that, busy, 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 busy. And bury the pain and, and the anger and, and everything else so damn deep. It compacts into the subconscious. To the point where people and places and things that I put a hell of a lot of support on 
go poof one day you're there next day you're relocated not just physically I'm talking about mentally and psychologically things change around you so much that you don't know what the hell's going on anymore and that was me that's me I'm not quite sure what the hell's going on anymore how am I supposed to be sure how am I supposed to understand this how 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 I have no answers I have no answers on any of this. If I was going to be offering experience, strength, and hope for people, experience and strength, yeah. But how do I share hope? You're looking for the solutions to it. You're looking for something positive. You want to feel positive about the whole situation. Well, your choice, not mine. I deal with the reality of it. And sometimes it'd be nice to escape reality into the fantasy realms where I didn't have to deal with this. But I'd be dealing with different situations. I wouldn't be dealing with loss like crazy. But knowing it's only a dream and not reality. Knowing it's only either while well, I'm sleeping or I'm daydreaming. But I look at the reality of it and that's what I have to deal with on a day-by-day -day basis. And that's where a lot of people don't like to deal with because they want to escape it, run away from it. And I understand. Maybe I am sadomasochist. I don't enjoy this. I'm stuck with it myself. But I have to learn how to live with it. I have to learn how to live with it. I don't want to, I don't like to, but I have to. Some things are inevitable and other things aren't. Just let it happen. I'm supposed to deal with life. I'm supposed to deal with life on life's terms. And I have to have the strength to walk through it. So I walk. Or I crawl. And if I happen to talk about it, I'm braying like an old mule. I'm crying about it. I'm a crybaby about it. I'm supposed to be brave and strong. No, I'm not brave and strong. There's no bravery going through this damn thing. I just I have to numb myself a great deal and keep going through it, but not physically numb myself. I realize I'm in pain, and I have to walk in pain. Sometimes I have to do things I'm not liking, but I have to because i got no choice. If there is a choice in this damn thing, it's already been made for me a long time ago. So how do I deal with it? How do I deal with the pain, and how do I deal with the grieving at this point? Now, what kind of hope do I give people at this point? I know it's a long, ongoing process for me. I had dealt with a hell of a lot of denial and trying to get through life. I can't deny it, therefore it's in front of me. But if I start denying the damn thing, then it's just going to nail my ass one way or another. Or down the road. I have to keep confronting the bastard. I have to keep confronting the pain. The agonies of it all. I loved my family so damn much. I wish I had... Oh, I lost chances throughout my life. Of telling them often enough. But sometimes actions would tell them. Or sacrifices I made would tell them. I think they know. I think they understand that. Sometimes I didn't have to say it. It would have been nice to get a bear hug every once in a while from him. Or hug my mother every once in a while. I'd hug my brother once in a while, too. But I know through our eyes we communicated. My brother probably would not be proud of what I'm doing right now as it is. But I find it's necessary to keep talking about it. Because if I don't keep talking about it, what the hell do I do? Drive myself crazy? I'm supposed to keep blinding myself to other things and not dealing with me. Nobody else is dealing with me. I don't have anybody knocking on the door saying, I'm willing to help deal with you or just sit down and listen. Good. Enjoy bug war. <laughs> Could you not? Damn cockroaches all over the fucking place. 
I have to deal with a body that's breaking down left and right, such as life. I gotta deal with mental health issues that are popping up even further that I have to keep dealing with. Eventually, it'll be to the point where I'll be not functioning. But who's going to take care of me? I still have to keep struggling. Unless, of course, I'm going to be dependent upon a state that's going to be burying me alive in bureaucracy and put me into a, into a room where I can't take care of myself. And nobody will take care of me. Just leave me there or not. I've seen it happen a few times, not liking it. For right now, i still got life to live. Even it is day-by-day struggle. If I'm not triggered, if I'm not crying my eyeballs out, if I'm not um, getting depressed on that day, call it a good day, call it a win, and keep moving. I can try enjoying a sunrise when blowing through places left and right. Here I am in the desert. That's, you know, I can see a desert landscape around. Maybe the same thing, but sometimes, in a few occasions, it does look beautiful. I understand about the deadly concerns in the desert. I happen to look for those things more often. But in all, I am where I am. I may not be on a train traveling and enjoying that, enjoying the rail life, or on a cruise ship sailing to destination after destination after destination. No. Nor am I a jet setter, or a guy driving around in an RV or something like that enjoying countryside. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. I'm waking up. Show a few hours, go back to sleep again. Wake back up again, see the rest of the day's already passed by. And I have to deal with the night. I have to deal with people's smart ass remarks and yelling at each other. Am I feeling like I am worthless? No, I'm not. People are probably looking around this place and say, Didn't you get rewarded? Was I looking for a reward on this earth? Seriously, was I looking for a reward in dealing with Mama? Or with my brother? Was I praying to God at the time, saying that God, and all this stuff here, I want a reward? No, not me. I know I'm going to screw up my damn house one way or another. So I have to deal with it. I haven't taken care of my mortal, mortal corpse yet. Or as well as it should have been. Everybody else works as hard as they can to keep theirs maintained. I'm just letting mine fall apart. But I'm still trying to enjoy life one way or another. I'm trying to look at life one way or another. But there is going to be hope beyond this life. The one thing I, I would, if I could make a selfish repair for myself, is praying to God that I hope the transition isn't painful. That at least I have a guide out there to help walk me through the damn steps or the stages I need to go through. And once I'm in that particular form, I wouldn't have to be afraid. I wouldn't have to be afraid. Maybe I would feel that I'm in the stage and comfortable where I should have been a long time ago. But I had to learn a few things on Earth. And maybe I didn't learn the lessons well. Maybe I screwed up. Things happen. I have to deal. I have to cope. I have to function. But at least for today, I'm still alive. I grieved. I mourned. I lost. 
I cried my eyeballs out. Triggered too many damn times. Been depressed in my later you in my later years. I didn't live life to the fullest. I didn't get any love life at all. Maybe near misses, but maybe I wasn't meant to. Maybe I wasn't meant to. Sometimes <laughs> I do feel a little bit cheated on that one, but uh, I cheated myself on that. I did. I get older, I'm broken down more. I was like, no. I don't see what kind of meat still left on the bones of this whole carcass here still living. There's no meat for you to pick. Nothing meaty about it. I'm a guy just waiting to just let life have its fun with me, and then that's it. I go. But at least if I did some things in my life that I was more proud of, and I wish I could have done a better job at, I was taking care of my family. Maybe my goals in my life will not get fully realized. But if my goals or my job was just to take care of my family one way or another, then at least I could be happy with that one. I just wish I could have been doing more. Uh, the educational level, I'll start trying to work on it. Maybe get a book published. Fictional work, but relatable. And... Maybe somewhere in a book so it'll give people a little bit more inspiration or something like that. Maybe. Maybe the videos will be taken down eventually. People won't learn a damn thing. But I'm not going to argue with fate. I'm not going to argue with God on that one. I'm just going to deal with what I've got. I'll tell you something. Getting back to the technical faces. These damn things. <sighs> you know, I prefer a big bulkier headset because at least I know the boom's over here. And if it's sensitive enough, I can be picked up. So if I happen to talk real low like this, maybe you'll have to crank up the volume real loud just to hear me normalized. But... Uh, <sighs> I prefer a boom mac myself with a headset. Noise cancellation would be nice on it. Okay, for that matter, enough of the grapes and grumblings of an old fart. People look at me and say, Well, you're still a spring chicken. Yeah, I'll throw me in the water or I'll be boiled alive like the worm I am. I'll be the lousiest tasting chicken soup you've ever tasted. Or maybe it. I never liked to buy self as a teacher. I'm not sure if I actually wanted to be a teacher. Or maybe in this way I still am teaching. Just, I don't know if people are actually listening or not. And if they are. Am I doing it right or am I doing it wrong? Somebody's got to tell me that one.